Here is the relation between the vapor pressure and phase change. The pressure on a liquid decrease, then its phase can change on a considerable low temperature. In pumps or turbines, there are high and low pressure regions generates on blade while rotation. At low pressure regions, some of the water molecules evaporate. When these vapor bubble comes under high pressure, they collapse and produces shock wave that may damage the machinery. These shock waves are strong when they are very close to the imploded bubble but rapidly weaken as they propagate away from the implosion. Collapsing voids that implode near to a metal surface cause cyclic stress through repeated implosion. This results in surface fatigue of the metal causing a type of wear also called cavitation. The most common examples of this kind of wear are to pump impellers, turbine blades and bends where a sudden change in the direction of liquid occurs. Since the shock waves formed by collapse of the voids are strong enough to cause significant damage to parts cavitation is typically an undesirable phenomenon in machinery. It is very often specifically prevented in the design of machines, such as turbines or propellers, and eliminating cavitation is a major field in the study of fluid dynamics. However, it is sometimes useful and does not cause damage when the bubbles collapse away from machinery, such as in supercavitation.